Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we discovered that there is a Gospel Navi waiting for us in Undernet 3. This path goes to Undernet 4. I would not recommend taking it at the moment because, well, we got better things to do. Okay, in this, in this 3. So let's just jack out. Let's find another route to Undernet 3. I'm gonna check something real quick. This to Gunland Square, that's not the one we need. Um, okay. So I want to jack back into Miss Millions' purse and head for, I believe, Net Square. It's been a while since I've played this part of the game, so yeah, forgive me if I mess it, majorly mess this up because I'm being stupid. But if I remember right, we need to find the uh, keymaker guy. And get him to make a gate key D. So we can get him to. So we can uh, get him to Undernet 3. And this is going to take forever at this rate, so I'm just going to run. Because it's really not worth the effort of fighting these guys. And oh hey, we have a uh, chip there. Oh yeah, quick win! Whoops! <laughs> Just skipped right over that mystery data, didn't I? Uh, let's break this and see what's back there. Oh look, poppers. That's pretty sweet. Poppers are wood elemental, meaning they're weak to heat. So yeah. yeah, wood is weak to heat. Okay, yeah, that's kind of stupid. Uh, got some again. Yeah, it's a cheap tactic, but I like it. I like it because it's cheap, I mean. Yeah. No. Woohoo! Okay, yeah. Uh, HP memory. Sweet. Why didn't I pick that up earlier? Oh, I missed! And now I didn't. Ha ha. That's one way you can, uh, get rid of them easily. Oh, hey! Um, do we have that in our library? Zeta Ratten? We do not, so I will be showing that off, I guess. I'll be showing that off in this folder because it's... Um... Oh, hey, we've got uh, more stuff here. Do we have other Rattan ones? Oh yeah! Now we're in business! 
With this setup, I can show off both the Zeta Ren and Omega Ren, so excuse me for a minute while I get into a fight where I can show them all. Oops, no! <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'd be so stupid. Yeah. Three Rattans, each with an attack power of 70. And five seconds of invisibility. Very nice. Omega Rattan one. 10 seconds of invincibility. Again, these Zeta and Omega class program advances suck, so I would not recommend using them. But since we have the uh, high cannon chips around, I might as well show off the uh, Zeta Cannon 2 as well. Just so we can get it in our logs. So three high cannons, five second invincibility, not too bad if you don't have any other program advanced options. Let's see, what else can I show off here? There isn't really much, is there? No. If I had a high cannon D, things might be different, but I don't know. Also, no, High Cannon E, Cannon E, and M Cannon E do not form a Pro Ray Advance together, although they totally should. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Wait, that's the wrong. Uh, I'm so stupid. Wait, no, this is the guy. But so what? Not nothing, so let's head back to the Electopia. You know what, let's uh, head to Kotobuki, maybe we can find something out there. Okay, here we are in Koto Square. As you can see, there's a conveyor belt here. Unlock the can always use.
Alright, let's jack out and try something else. I really have no clue at this point. Airman. I was not expecting to fight Airman again in this episode. Let's just take him out. Oof. Preferably without taking a hit, thank you. Whatever, now it's two. Airman version two. Hmm. Can we break the ice this way. That took longer than it should have. Keys are made by a keymaker somewhere in Metopia. We already met him, but he wouldn't make us a key, I think. You know what? Eh. This guy. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, I guess in the next part, we are headed to Kotobuki again. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up in the corner, give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. So, I will be seeing you later.